I was in Louis. I was living in Louisiana when um a lady had put voodoo on me, and I uh found out about it. But I didn't know about it. I just knew that my life did turn like upside down. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. I don't play that. Like I ain't. I don't play by my ancestors. Like I study Ifa, and you know that's my religion. So it's like. What is Ifa? Ifa is a, um, <laughs> it's an African religion. You should you should look it up. Like I I encourage all people to. Um, what 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 is that riddle? Tell me about it. Um. So Ifa was like it's um it's sort of like a hoodoo. You know, like voodoo hoodoo, but it was created within our ancestors to get away from I knew slave you was, masters. I knew you were on that voodoo. I knew that. It, now, so I, I, was so trying not to, I was trying not to let you come back on Boss Talk, but some just keep calling. I, every time I, damn, let me call Nina. Like, all through now, the so night, like, I knew it was a hex on me. I don't do I do not do voodoo. You got a little dog? Voodoo. No, I don't believe in voodoo. Okay, well, I, I'm just saying, Louisiana folks are known for it, yeah, and Jamaicans. Yeah, Louis, yeah Louisiana and Jamaicans. Jamaicans. But, like, no. Nah, Lord, have is, mercy. I got my Let her talk. talk. <laughs> if I is hoodoo. I don't, I don't believe in voodoo, because if you do voodoo, it's always, like, I don't care what's the situation. It's always coming back mm -hmm. ten times stronger. So whatever you do to somebody, it's going to hit you worse. So you got to be a miserable motherfucker to be putting voodoo on people but what i study is e5 it's like white magic so it's like protection against the people who i could i ain't gonna lie to you voodoo is becoming popular like it's a lot of people you wouldn't even think into that shit that's putting spells on people like mm. in even in this area like a lot of people are doing that shit and they don't care that it's coming back like <laughs> so you wow. can see certain things and you can feel certain things yeah i feel like i was um so you felt like some, like has anybody ever done anything like that to you? Yeah, that's why I got into it. I was in Louis I was living in Louisiana when um a lady had put voodoo on me and I uh found out about it, but I didn't know about it. I just knew that my life did turn like upside down instantly. But like what she do put potato under your step? I know, like actually me what and my baby do? daddy had an apartment. Um we walked my baby daddy walked outside one day and it was like a it was like a bag of marbles in front of our door, like a bag of black marbles. And we didn't know what was going on. Of course, we was like younger, but like right right after that, like I was I was doing good. Like I was 17 going on 18. I had my own apartment. I had a job making 14, 14 an hour with my mama. Like we had a nice part, all that. I had a car and everything at 17. But it's like as soon as we walked outside and saw that bag of marbles and his dumb ass brought it in the house, like showing oh. me like, what is, what is this? And That's I what got you right there. But when I tell you life flipped upside down, but it's like, I don't know. It's like, I don't, it, 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 I don't know. I don't know the extent of How what did you was break it? How did you break well, it? When I st it's like, it's like I didn't even try to get into it. It's just like it was thrown in my face. Like, it How did like, you break it? I'm trying to get to that. So it's like, I don't know. Slowly I started getting into learning this shit. And I wasn't even trying. It's just I see commercials. I see books. I start reading books. I start watching shows and da -da -da, more getting into it. And it's like, it's like I had some psychic abilities when I swear to God. Like I know shit. I dream shit. And it'll actually happen. I had like. I could, damn there can't even be lies. It's like I could damn near see through. I don't know. I just had abilities that I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And how old were you at this time now? Um, this probably was like 19. I remember. So like, two I years. I swear to God, this was the weirdest shit. And I remember it to this day. It was this boy in my city. And his name was just popular in my city. I never saw this boy a day in my life. But I was at my grandma's house one day. And I saw a boy cross the street from my grandma's house. And I said, you know, what? He, it looked like he, that could be his name. And I called the name. I was behind a bush. I remember like yesterday I was behind a tree and I called his name. And he said, huh? I said, what the fuck? That's really it? <laughs> like, I just looked at him and said that, he, that looked like it could be his name. And that was really that boy. And I, I started having dreams and shit. And it's like all my dreams would come true. It's like I get like I randomly picture people face in my dreams and randomly wake up like I see the face and wake up or I hear the name and wake up and it and then weeks later I find out that person doing something to me or that person saying something it was like weird shit 
but like the more I start studying it, the more I start getting clarity with the divine and start getting closer to ancestors. I ain't gonna lie, I burn candles, I do stuff to talk to ancestors and stuff like that. Like I'm guided, like every move I make, and I'm trying to get better with that because I feel like I'm punished by the ancestors if I don't let them guide me. Like, like you do like a seance type of thing where you you know like when you're in movies and you see them light the candle in like a mm -hmm. circle, and you sit down and you. Yeah, but that's the thing about E five. You don't if you don't go by the guidelines, you will be punished. Like so, if I do stuff against my spirit that I know is not right, I will be punished for that. So it's like basically, I gotta talk to the spirits with every move. So that's I how make. you broke it, huh? Is talking to the spirits? No, that's how like you broke how I broke the voodoo. Yeah. It's protection. I started learning about I started learning about voodoo and stuff, and I started learning the power of blah blah blah. I know how to do it, but I just don't do it. But mm -hmm. it's like. I did a protection spell. I got a protection spell on me from my Haitian godmother. I have a godmother that's Haitian. She stays in Haiti and all that. And she actually does um, E5. She does all that stuff, you know, sacrifices, all that. So she she protected me. So um, she taught me how to protect myself, like, and how to make, you know, protection of my house, myself, da 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 Like, I just been situations where me and my dude and been shot at and we leave without a scratch every time like four times in a year does like, Ifa believe in god yeah Ifa is just another word for god okay i'm Girl. just asking i yeah. didn't i don't know yeah we on boss talk one-on-one yeah we gonna talk